Hey there! Before we jump into the video, I want to tell you about our math video game called Mage Math. The game will help your child feel more confident in math, and our math videos are inside the game to really help your child succeed. You can find the game and all our videos at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, I am on vacation visiting some of these really cool pyramids. As you can see, I can't get in to see what's inside this pyramid. The hieroglyphs state that in order to enter, one must solve the decimal subtraction problem. But beware what lurks behind. I think they are just trying to scare people away, so why don't we learn about subtracting decimals, then we can enter. Today we're going to be subtracting decimal numbers. For example, we want to find the difference between 53.26 minus 48.25. Using the standard algorithm, we will write the problem vertically, lining up each place value, especially the decimal points. Notice both numbers have tens, ones, tenths, and hundredths place values. We will start subtracting on the far right and then move left. 6 minus 5 is 1, so we write 1 below the equals bar. Then we move on to the next column. 2 minus 2 is 0. Now we make sure to bring down the decimal point. Next, we want to subtract 3 minus 8, but we can't take away 8 from 3 because 3 is too small, so we need to borrow. We're going to borrow a 10 from the 5. So we're going to cross out 5 and reduce the number by 1, writing a 4 up above. Then we're going to cross out the 3 and turn that into 13 because we're borrowing 110 from the 5 in 50. Now we can subtract. 13 minus 8 is 5. And finally, we'll subtract 4 minus 4, which is 0. However, we don't write zero as a leading digit within a number. We found the difference of 53.26 minus 48.25 to be 5.01. Let's try another problem, 23.8 minus 13.9. Just like before, write the numbers vertically and align each place value. We need to borrow right from the beginning because we're trying to subtract 8 minus 9, and 9 is larger than 8. So we will cross out 3 and write 2 above it. Then we'll cross out 8 and turn that into 18. Now we subtract 18 minus 9, which is 9. Next, write the decimal point, and then we're ready to subtract again. However, we want to take 2 minus 3 but this is going to require us to borrow again. So we'll cross out 2 in the tens column and write 1 above it. Then we'll cross out the 2 in the ones column and turn that into 12. This lets us subtract 12 minus 3, which is 9. Now we will subtract 1 minus 1, which is 0, but we don't need to write 0 in front. So we found the difference of 23.8 minus 13.9 is 9.9. .9. What about a problem like this? 35.34 minus 22.8. Notice the first number has hundredths and the second number is only tenths. When we write a problem vertically, we align the decimal points and it's very important to align the place values. Because there's no hundredths digit in our second number, we write a zero as a placeholder. And now we're ready to subtract. Four minus zero is four. Now we want to take three minus eight, but we're going to have to borrow. Let's cross out the five and write a four, then cross out the three and turn that into 13. So now we have 13 minus eight, which is five. Next, we write the decimal point. Now subtract 4 minus 2. That's 2. And finally, 3 minus 2 is 1. 
The difference of 35.34 minus 22.8 is 12.54. Great job! Thanks for learning with me. We now know the answer to this decimal subtraction problem. It's 12.54. Wow, it's opening. Uh-oh, what is that? Whoa, time to leave. Thanks anyway, guys. Thank you for watching our video. To support us in making more videos, please check out our game at magemath.com. MageMath will really help your child have fun with math, so check it out today.